One way to look at it is that it's a story about um, a boy and a girl who meet uh, and have a date. Uh, and then um, the girl's father realizes that the boy's father is uh, a Nazi war criminal who's hiding in Argentina. That's what sets the plot in motion. It actually starts as a kind of a love story. Um, but the, uh, the, the stakes are much, much higher than whether these two young people are going to be together. Uh, it's very quickly uh, something much more about, um, about uh, whether justice is going to be done to one of the greatest perpetrators of the Holocaust. And all of this is true. Even the kind of um, rather uh, strange and coincidental way that Eichmann was, was found out through this um, kind of uh, young love. I think he's one of the greatest living actors um, from the get-go. Um, specifically, uh, I think he is able to bring a tremendous amount of pathos and um, uh, charisma to uh, a character like this. And the, 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 what, what you want to avoid, or what I wanted to avoid, was to, um, uh, to portray just a villain who is easily dismissed uh, as such. There has to be some kind of appeal um, to these characters, otherwise um, we uh, find it much more easy to dissociate from them. As a producer, I mean, he, he's very smart about movies. Um, he's obviously been in quite a few. He's been in more than I have directed. Uh, so he knows his way around a movie set and what it takes to get that kind of thing done. He is, uh, he's kind of catnip for other actors, so, uh, and he, as producer, he is very much willing to um, to make the call and uh, send the email and uh, induce uh, other actors to come and work with him, which is fantastic. Um, I mean, as an actor, he, he, he doesn't, uh, he, he can't put a foot wrong, really, uh, if you look at his performances. There's, there's never an unnatural moment. Nick Kroll uh, plays Rafi Eitan. Um, so uh, I was very excited to have him because uh, like, uh, like some uh, great comic actors, they actually have a tremendous uh, facility for uh, drama as well. So Rafi Eitan is, is the sort of uh, nominal leader of the mission and uh, Peter Malkin's best friend. And their friendship is, is sort of thrown into tension uh, th through the, the course of this, of this film. Uh, he's fantastic as well. Melanie Laurent, uh, uh, very importantly, um, uh, plays the uh, anesthesiologist who goes along on the mission, who has serious doubts about the, uh, the validity of what, uh, what this team is doing. Um, uh, Leo Raz, uh, who uh, is probably best known from Fauda, uh, and who <coughs> is himself a, you know, a for real uh, Israeli um, uh, soldier uh, uh, is, um, you know, brings this tremendous uh, conviction and presence to uh, the part of Isser Harel, who was the, uh, the uh, head of the Mossad at the time. Um, you know, there's Torben Liebrecht, who's a, a wonderful German actor who plays the kind of um, face man of the expedition. Uh, Greg Hill, who uh, plays uh, Moshe Tabor, who is the sort of uh, the killer uh, on the mission. Um, and who is uh, constantly trying to keep in check this desire for uh, revenge. Um, Ohad Noller, who's one of uh, Israel's uh, greatest actors, is playing the local Mossad uh, contact. Um, uh, Mike Hernandez uh, is in his first film playing the, the forger on the mission, Danny uh, Shalom. Um, who, am I, who am I missing out on? Uh, I'm sure I'm missing some. Oh, and of course, uh, 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 Michael Aronoff, who just won the Tony for, um, for Oslo, uh, is playing um, Aharoni, who is the, uh, the interrogator uh, on the mission, the man who, who got Eichmann to admit who he was and broke down his, uh, his defenses. Um, and uh, it's a terrific mix of characters who uh, play very well uh, opposite each other. This is going to be the most uh, historically well-informed uh, version of this story that has ever been told. Uh, that being said, it's not a documentary. Um, and my aim, our aim, is to, uh, uh, since we're being granted two hours of an audience member's um, uh, brain time uh, and bandwidth, 
uh, that we, uh, we move around the furniture a little bit in their head and hopefully make them think about things in ways that they hadn't before they came in. I think audiences should see this film because there'll be some uh, extraordinary performances of a story that is not only incredibly dramatic and thrilling, it happens to be true, um, and uh, is a story about uh, justice in a time in which uh, truth is under threat. Um, and um, what should they take away from it? Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, a, a greater sense of, of uh, the humanity of the characters involved, and, and I mean that even in terms of the very worst people in this movie, uh, because it's, um, I think it's important for people to um, be alive to the possibility that these things are not just stuff that happened in the past, but are things that can happen again if people aren't careful and thoughtful.